let's talk about three tips that you can think, three things you can do right now to keep yourself mentally and physically healthy while stuck at home. Now, my name is Kathy Callahan. It is 1.30 Central Time. That means it is time for a nap time chat. Today's Saturday. We're doing self-care Saturday, and I want to share with you a couple easy things, simple, that you can do right now to keep your mental state and your physical state prime condition. All right. So um, I have a spot on my shirt. I have to just, I'm one of those people that if it, I don't want you to point it out before I do, I didn't get time to change. It is what it is. I'm embarrassed, but who cares? This is mom chat, right? Y'all are like chill with that. So let's first talk about a very simple thing, the benefits of exercise. Now, if you saw, saw my story earlier or you saw my post, I did a quick workout today in my pajama shorts, in the shirt that I slept in with no shoes on, but I got it done. So who is doing any kind of exercise right now? We probably all know the benefits of exercise, not just on our physical bodies, but on our mental health as well. So if you are doing any kind of physical movement, pat yourself on the back. It is not every single day that I'm winning with exercise. I've been sharing, um, who my favorite like people are that I follow on YouTube and some of my favorite apps and some of the workouts that I do. And on Wednesday, we did workout Wednesday and we just did a very simple mom workout at the picnic table in the backyard. Today I did, I think it was an 11 minute or 15 minute, um, simple hit workout with coach crystal. She's one of my favorite people to follow for free workouts on YouTube. But here's the thing, whether it like yesterday, actually the last two days, the most physical activity I got aside from chasing around two little children all day is walking to the post office and taking a walk around the neighborhood. So whatever it is, try to find a way to work in some kind of physical activity. Um, it's great to release the good hormones and it's also great for um, boosting serotonin, dopamine. Y'all know like, okay, we won't go into the tons of benefits for exercise, but let's give you a couple tips for that. It does not have to be structured. This is where most people like feel like they failed because they didn't do their workout for today. Hey, Tony, um, I'm actually on time today, <laughs> but people are like, I didn't get my workout in. Did you move your body at all? Try to at least focus on 10 minutes of some kind of movement. If you are like me and you live in a small town and you don't have a, a mailbox right outside your yard, we walk to the post office instead of drive there. That's simple, right? Take a walk around the neighborhood, do 10 minutes of stretching. Um, even if it's like nothing structured, but you're just giving your body some kind of movement in there. Just start there, start small. Um, I remember talking to my friend, Stephanie, and I'm like, well, somebody do some kind of stretching challenge with me because I'm doing nothing right now. And this was like three or four months ago. I'm literally doing no kind of movement. I need help getting movement in. Tony got her two and a half miles walked in. See two and a half miles. I have not done that in a long time. But I walked the kids down to Justin's house and Ashley's house and back up. And I think that's like three quarters of a mile. And when we did the mile challenge, which Shape of USTL did the challenge, they're picking the winner today for the fizz. Um, she challenged us to walk a mile. So we had to walk down, back, down, back. And the kids are like, why are we going again? <laughs> I'm like, today we actually have a goal to do a mile. Mental health. Yes. Okay. So, um, I love hit workouts. So I think this will be an evolution for you. I told Stephanie, like, I just need to start somewhere. I was not back into the workout routine and the life that I used to live. And I just started with a stretching routine. Then all of a sudden, I think I got invited into like a 65 day or something, um, bar blend challenge. And I started doing that. And then all of a sudden I'm like, I'm back into my hit workouts now. And if y'all don't know about hit, they're high intensity interval training and they're fast and you get it done. So life sometimes is that you don't have a lot of large segments of time. So hit workouts are quick. Um, okay. The second thing, and this is pretty important, especially for your mental health, um, is are you guys giving yourself any time to connect with people? Um, right now we're pretty isolated. Who feels not isolated? Is there anybody who feels connected right now? to people outside of your four walls. If so, you're doing this in some capacity, I would guess. So try to find a way to connect with people every single day. I will tell you, I never saw nap time chat being necessary for me mentally because this like whole social distancing thing wasn't even really a thing when it was stirring in my mind as an idea. One weekend, 
and I started nap time chat and I'm like, you guys, this gives me purpose every single day. I didn't get completely dressed, but I did get showered and I washed my hair and I got a bath and I got clean ish clothes on, but I get to connect with you guys. I get to see some of the same names pop up. Tony and I get to talk almost every day. She's always commenting on here. So if you're here, say hi. This is a way that we can connect. Another way that I have found a way to connect a lot of us are doing it on Facebook and that's okay. But I was just talking to a really close friend last night and she's like, I just can't be on Facebook. It's all like, it's too overwhelming. Hey, Jessica White. Um, Tony lives alone. That's why she tunes in every day. That is so awesome. I love that. Yay. It's not just for me. It's for some of us benefiting as well. It's not just for my mental health. Um, but I was talking to a close friend and she's like, I just can't scroll the feed. Like there's too much that it just is bringing her down. And what I would suggest is don't scroll the feed. If that's, if your friends are like posting all the stuff that's bringing you down, that is not the way you want to be connecting. Jump into some groups, get into some um, Facebook communities. Like we have a couple groups that I run or I run with my team. And I'm like, in our groups, nobody's talking about anything but positive. It's a positive distraction. Hey, Jamie, thank you for being here live. Yay. Um, if you don't have that positive distraction, find it. So find a community. Zoom, we did on um, Techie Tuesday, I shared some apps that I've been using to connect with my family. So Facebook Messenger, you can do video chats. Zoom, you can do Zoom calls. We did... Um, a Zoom with my book club friends, and we all just had a glass of wine together and talked. You can do Marco Polo apps. We're doing those with my family. Tony said she has a Christian group that is wonderful. Um, I have seen people like, man, there's all kinds of groups I didn't. I did a video one time on different groups, and it's in here somewhere. Um, but people were recommending the type of groups they, like we had nurse friends that were in nursing groups and card playing groups and boating groups and find a group or a community, um, reach out to people, not your business meetings. Okay. Like for fun, y'all have nothing else to do. Come connect for 30 minutes over on Facebook. Hey, Kathy. Um, so I'm in a couple groups that one of them's a clean eating group, but I've actually talked to them about maybe making it more of a lifestyle group, but there's, I mean, all we talk about is food in that group and our struggles with eating. We're not talking about the pandemic and we're like, we're just staying focused on keeping our bodies healthy no matter what. That's really fun. We do a weekly party that just started what? Three weeks ago. Some of this is amazing timing that this stuff has started. Everybody is welcome. If you don't have a group yet, come over to our virtual party group. Every Tuesday night we go live. We give stuff away. We do drawings. We learn about clean living and healthy eating and makeup and skincare. And if you don't like any of that, but you like to win a gift card, go buy donuts with a gift card. I don't care. So um, Tony said lifestyle would be great. Um, what other groups do we have? What other groups? And I, you know, I'm staying connected with um, my friends and my team outside of just business. That is what is so important. Okay. This is really important. The last one is you guys, right now is a really, really, really hard time for people who are battling with any kind of mental health issues already prior to this. And some people are experiencing like depression and anxiety for the first time because of this. So I will tell you, I like to live. <laughs> Tony, I don't care what you do with your $25. I had pizza. Did you see my post today? I'm like, I had a party pizza and I was going to eat cookies, but I didn't even end up eating a cookie. And I made them from scratch. I made cookies from, y'all, I'm, I'm like Martha Stewart. I'm just saying. Um, what was I saying? The mental health part. I like to live in a bubble. I just do. I know there's a lot of um, people that are really, really struggling in a lot of ways right now. And for me, I cannot consume all of that because I just want to break down and cry and not even try to get out of bed. So for me, I have to avoid some of that. If something major is happening that I need to know about, believe me, my dad or Jeremy, somebody's going to tell me about it. So if you're already somebody who, um, you know, has mental health issues that you're battling with, this could be an especially hard time if you are alone. So the groups are important, but self-care is number three. So this is self-care Saturday. I would recommend these tips to you no matter what, but especially in a time like right now, Find some ways that you can take care of yourself and they need to be little. I'm not talking big. I'm not talking go make a vision board and do 30 minutes of meditation and 20 minutes of yoga. Like do that if you can, but let's start super, super small. So here's some really um, fun ideas that I do for self-care that make me feel semi-normal right now. 
I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm just saying, I'm calling this self-care. You figure out for you what makes you feel better about yourself. And one of them for me is I like to just have on my mascara. Take a bath. Who loves baths? I just got out of the bath. I have to take a bath with one of my children. I mean, it's not very often that I get the bath by myself. Tony, what are you saying oh honey about? The problem with the comments is sometimes they come up a minute late. So I don't know what you're oh honey and about. So tell me what I said. <laughs> Did I say something bad? Um, find the little things that make you feel mentally good. Put on some clothes for the day and dress the way that you want your day to go. So if you want, clean up and put your face on and get dressed. That's right. If you want to work out that day, wake up and put on your workout clothes. Now, I ended up not even putting on my workout clothes today. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to work out in my jammies. I think I already told you guys that. It's over in my stories if you want to see it. Um, I like to throw on some mascara. It makes me feel better. Take a bath. Put on a face mask. These are self-care things. Read a book. And if you don't like to read a book, listen to Audible. Do I have any readers? Like you readers, people who actually read books, I'm I'm super jealous of you. I used, I like got a, a trip to my teacher's farm in first grade for being like the top reader, me and Gina. But... Now I just like to listen to them on Audible. I have podcasts in my ears all the time. Um, we've done talks before on my favorite podcasts. If you want recommendations on things that will put good into your mind, I'll share those with you. Remember, you're not alone, so reach out to people. Um, get out in nature. Jamie said she loves to read. Oh, I try to read, but my brain's too like ADD. It gets, I don't know, I'm like, what else can I be doing right now? You think I would slow down right now. Tony puts on her jewelry every day and makes her feel better. I love that. Sometimes I put in earrings. I It just makes me feel happy. Um, have a cup of hot tea. Take your greens shot. Find little ways that you can do something amazing for you so that you can feel good physically and mentally. You can keep going. Um, go look out. Like watch the sunset. Watch the sunrise. Get yourself outside no matter the weather. This whole quarantine, I don't care if it's raining. Now y'all who live around me. We have had weather that goes from 39 degrees, probably even less, all the way up to, didn't we hit like almost 90 the other day? We've had rain. We've even had snow in these last few weeks. We've had shine. I don't care what it is. We're getting outside. I've had to walk the kids with umbrellas over the um, stroller, and that's going to tie into exercise, but that's for your mental health. Okay. Hopefully some of this is helpful to you somehow. I just want to encourage you guys, get your body moving. Um, what was my second tip? Get your body moving. Carve out time to get yourself connected with people outside of your four walls in your home. If you're connecting on Facebook, you're doing great. Um, but make sure it's about like not work, just something you're doing for fun. Get some Zoom birth. Like everybody who's celebrating a birthday right now, we're doing birthday parties over in our party group because Y'all don't get to be around anybody but the people in your home. So that's a fun idea. Um, and do some kind of self-care. Oh, you know what else I'm going to do for self-care? My new nails. I don't sell these things, by the way. But I did um, buy them. And um, I my nail polish is starting to wear off. So I'm going to put some color street nails on. Whatever it is that makes you feel good. Tony says sunshine is good for us. Vitamin D. Absolutely. You guys, right now would be a great time to do anything you can to boost your immune system. And um, vitamin D is a huge, huge, huge one. Probiotics, vitamin D. Those are the big things. Get all your leafy greens in. However you got to do it. Drink them. I just drink mine. Y'all know I don't like to eat the salad. All right. I hope that was helpful. Keep your mind positive. Stay connected. Oh, God. Tony. <laughs> Tony says, have sex if you are married. There you go, girl. You do you. You do what you got to do. Um, all right, I'm going to hop off. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Sunday Fun Day. On Sundays, we play a game. 1.30 Central Time. I will see you then. <laughs> Tony, you're so funny. All right, bye for now.